Hey guys, MKBHD here, back with another high definition video review for youtube.com slash droidog and droidog.com. Today's review is going to be a little bit on the short side, but we're taking a look at a pretty simple application. And this one's a to-do uh, note-taking application for Android, similar to the one I reviewed before. And this one's called Do It. And Do It is basically a to-do list application, or a note-taking application where you can put things in that you have to do later in the day, and check them off as they get done, sort them by priority, and a whole bunch of other different things. So let's take a deeper look. First of all, the user interface of Doit is really re really simple and easy to get used to. If you've ever used an application from this developer before, you'll know what I'm talking about. At the bottom are most of your controls. As you can see, the smooth animations transitioning from one thing to the next are very nice. And you can hit that plus button right there to begin adding information about an event. All you really have to do is put in a sample title. And uh, you'll see underneath it you have a couple of options for the priority. For this one, we'll select a low priority. And you can also change a custom due date for any number of increments in the future, and even select a custom one. And you can also, which is quite convenient, I think, is add notes about that. So if you need to remember a certain thing or a certain location of an event, you can definitely put those there in your reminders and go ahead and save it. There you can view that task I just made, along with a list of other things that I would put in not too long ago. As you can see, where Do It really excels is the user interface. It shows a whole lot of information about each task. You can see the title of it, the notes about it, the due date, the priority, and a whole bunch of other things. And you can also share, edit, and create new uh, lists and to-do lists and things like that from this application. So deleting it is as simple as a long press and a confirmation. In terms of style and functionality points, there's really not much more I could ask for, and at the bottom are really most of where you're going to find all your functions, along with pressing the menu key. So really this application has all I could ask for in a to-do list. Adding and subtracting things to do is as simple as hitting the plus or the minus button, and you can select what you want to add or what you want to subtract. And now you can also sort what to view by. As you can see, hitting that I button pops in from the side, and you can sort by completed or uncompleted, sort by priority, or sort by uh, when it's due, a whole bunch of things you can sort by, hit that view button. You can also use the search button, just like Google search. Of course, Google search is very powerful, so you can expect it to work well integrated. As you can see here, I typed homework, and that one note that I have about calculus homework, well, it does show up, of course. So like I said earlier, really at the bottom is where you're going to find all your controls and all of the uh, the functions of this application. You can also hit that button down at the right hand side to expose a new layer of controls and hit that little wrench button to get really all the settings you'll need for this application, such as your notification color and showing the application in the notification tray, things like that. You can take them on or off or change colors right in this little application here. So that's basically all you need to know about Do It. It's one of my favorite to-do list applications and quite frankly the only one I use anymore. If I ever absolutely need to guarantee that I remember something at a certain time, I am pretty much always going to put it in this application because you can set things to show up in the notification bar and buzz just like if you put it in your Google Calendar, except it's a little bit more uh, customizable than that. So if I need to remember that I have a test, I'll go ahead and put it in Google Calendar or I'll put it in to do it, or do it, I should say the name properly, and you can definitely uh, customize things straight from here. And it's a really, really well-polished application, and I really like the developer and what he's done with it. So this has been MKBHD with a review of Do It, which is available in the Android market for a low price. You can scan the QR code here or at the droiddog.com website where you can find um, some written thoughts about this application uh, and companion with this review. Until then, MKBHD, signing out. Peace.